Okay, let's go over this question. So what we're trying to do is to find the missing number A that when I plug it back in, makes this equation true. So at the end, once I find my answer, and we plug it back in, um, it will make this equation true. So that's what we're trying to do, right? So when we're solving, so this is an equation because it has an equal sign. It has, it's an equation because it has an equal sign. When we're solving equations, we try to simplify um, both sides and then we try to get A on its own. And then at the end we'll have this, A equals some number, right? So that's the goal. At the end it'll say A equals some number. Right? So we'll start off by simplifying both sides and we're going to add like terms, right? So I'm looking at the left here and I've got 9a and negative 8a. Or it's kind of like 9 apples subtract 8 apples. Or you can think of that as plus negative. 9 apples plus negative 8 apples leaves you with 1 apple or 1a or just a, right? I'll just write down 1a for, for fun. And then we have negative 4 fifths. Now those are not like terms because, because a is a variable and, and 4 fifths is just a number, right? Now on the right, um, we've got two numbers, two fractions, three-fifths minus a fifth, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the bottoms the same so that we can subtract the fractions or get the, the uh, lowest common denominator between the two fractions. So all we have to do is think, okay, what do we multiply 5 by to get 10? 5 times what gives 10? 5 times 2, right? Now if I multiply 5 by 2, I'll get 10, and that's great because now I'll have tenths. But I must multiply the top of the fraction by 2 also so that we have an equivalent fraction, which is going to be um, 2 tenths. So we're going to have over here 3 tenths minus 2 tenths. So the, the fifth has turned into 2 tenths. It's still the same quantity, um, but it is it looks different and now we can subtract the fraction. So it's kind of like saying, you know, do you want two dimes or do you want a fifth of a dollar, right? Same thing, it's 20 cents either way, right? So we end up with one tenth on this side. So we got A minus four fifths equals one tenth. And now we'll add four fifths to both sides because I want to get the A all on its own on that side. So I'm going to add four fifths. And again, I want to keep my denominators the same. If I'm adding fractions, the bottoms have to be the same. So again, we turn the fifths into tenths. Multiply by two over two, right? So now we have a equals one tenth, and this is four times two is eight, and five times two is ten, so we get eight tenths. So we get one tenth plus eight tenths is nine tenths. So the answer is A equals nine tenths, right? And so we can actually plug that in at the beginning and check, right? Um, which isn't so bad. It's not that bad, it's not that bad. You don't have to do this for every homework question, but if you guys could do this type of thing on the tests, that would be great because then you can check your answer. Because the original equation was this, and we figured, thought that the answer is 9 tenths, right? 9 tenths for A. So this should all work out. And I'm going to do it quickly. So this is 9 is 9 over 1. I got 9 over 1 times 9 over 10. That's 9 times 9 is 81 over 10 minus 4 fifths. I'm, that needs to be the same denominator, so that becomes 8 tenths. And um, this is 8 over 1. 8 over 1 times 9 over 10 is uh, 72 tenths. Okay, and I'll just keep working out on the on the left here. I got um, 81 minus 8 is going to give me um, 73 tenths. So 73 tenths minus 72 tenths. So on the left side, I get 1 tenth. Now, if I get the same thing on the right-hand side, that means that my... A equals 9 tenths answer is in fact correct. So I'm going to check the right. Okay, so I got 3 tenths minus 1 fifth, and 1 fifth becomes 2 tenths. So 3 tenths minus 2 tenths is also 
1 tenth. So we have the same thing on both sides. When we plug in 9 tenths for A, therefore we solved the equation, right?